Hi. So today I decided I'm going to come on and paint a fun gnome Christmas with you. And I'm going to draw with you because I do do drawing classes. I don't know if you know that. And I'm hoping that a few of you come on and see that I am live on YouTube today. It's been a while. But with the COVID and people being stuck in the house and they're shutting down everywhere again, I thought it'd be a really nice thing to come on today and tell you I'm thinking about you and we all need to be safe and um, know that there's joy still. So you have to have hope. I know we're going to be blessed with hope. Hello, Cindy and Esther. Oh, uh, we need hope and we need uh, trust in the Lord that it's going to get better. By the way, the first shot happened for COVID today. So it's on its way and we just have to take a deep breath and be patient. And so thank you so much for coming on. Hello, Charlie, my sweet friend. You're my sweet friend. Hello from Greece. Hello, hello. And from India. I have so many from India. Thank you guys. And we're building in Greece. I have a couple of really good teachers in Greece. Um, hello, Cindy. Uh, encouragement. I need encouragement. So let me tell you something, a little bit about me this last week, because everybody thinks, uh, well, we're smiling and happy. Oh my gosh, it's, it's going so fast. I can't say hi to everybody, but I'm out here and loving you guys. I love seeing what you say. And the thing I hate about not watching it, I haven't figured out how to go see what you say later. So I'm going to try. We're going to paint a gnome and a Christmas wreath today but it's small, so it should be fun. Um, we're gonna draw it together. I have drawing classes and apps and actually a drawing cert, but mine is called drawing and design to be able to paint your own paintings. So how do you like that? Whether you do watercolor or acrylic or oils, whatever you do, so to help you, all right? Hello, Leah, hey, Miss Clark, how are you? Um, so we got a few from Texas, that's awesome. Um, first time you've seen me on here. Hello, David. Uh, thanks for coming on all the way from the UK. I don't know what time it is there right now. Six hours, one way or the other. Um, I used to fly all the time. Oh, going over is fine. Coming back felt forever. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a Christmas shirt on today, which you probably can't see. All right, so this is to inspire you to not to have a blue Christmas, to have a positive Christmas. And I um, have missed you guys. So I wanted to come on and here with you. I don't have anybody here reading for me. Puerto Rico, hello, hello. Um, but it is the season for giving, the season for hope, the season for sharing and for um, giving of ourselves to others. So I wanted to, this is just a fun Christmas tree, thank you. I wanted to give to you guys today. And I have so many sweet people that are minister that are ministering sisters and uh, to me who do really kind things for me. Um, the shirt is from Costco. <laughs> uh, I got Lori one and me one, uh, by the way, Miss Charlie, uh, so that we could have fun with our, I think they're pajamas and <laughs> like little night shirts, but it was fun. Um, so from Denmark, hello. All right. So what I wanted to do is start drawing with you and then um, let you see how easy it is to sketch out a design. And I want to come on more, especially in the next week here and just show some things with to you and get you inspired and please, please join, subscribe, and ring the bell. You go down and, and you can ring a bell, which will tell you when I'm on, which some of you came on, I know, because it rang your bell. <laughs> I like ringing your bell. All right. Um, thank you. Hello from England. Oh, my gosh. This must be a good time for you guys over there. Thanks for joining. All right. So in Scotland, hello. And from Bonnie, Scotland. Hello, hello. I'm dying to go to Ireland and Scotland and some of these other places I haven't gone. We have ancestors over there doing my genealogy. So I thought that my brother got to go. So it was really fun. All right. So you ready to go? 
<laughs> Lots of hearts and thumbs up. I love, I love from the Ukraine. Hello, you're going to make me cry, guys. It's awesome to have you guys out there. All right. And thanks for the thumbs up. Um, so you guys let me know what you think about today. So I'll know that you want more of these. And uh, we hit 100,000. I think I'm all blown out here with color. But we hit 100,000, which... Uh, subscribers, which was really awesome. By the way, I've gone to TikTok for a really fast little tutorial, tutorials, right? But um, on TikTok, I've hit two and a half million on a yellow rose. And then I just did a Christmas rose. I put it on, um, oh my gosh, uh, a couple of other platforms. I can't remember the other platforms, but it's a red rose and it hit a million the other day. So go check those out. Um, I like the dancers on TikTok, but, uh, and you found me. So they said, how are you on TikTok? Donna Dewberry. Okay. And, but it was so funny. I have to tell you some of the kids on there and way back from QVC. Hello. Hello. Um, they said another Texan, um, they said, oh, you know, there's this old lady that used to be on doing <laughs> doing this technique. Her name was Donna also. So anyway, I guess I'm an old lady these days, but I'm trying to figure out. They want me to go live, but I need to uh, do something to make it fun live when they see this old lady, right? All right. Well, that's okay. I know you're here to see the painting and work with me with that. So let's get started. Does that sound good? All right. Um, and we're going to have... Uh, Facebook Christmas event this Friday night. So today is the 14th of December, 2020. So you could be watching this two years from now, but I just want y'all to know what date it is today. All right. So I'm going to turn this around and go down to my easel, not my easel, but my canvas. Oh, sorry. I'm going to make you sick trying to get it on there for you. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to draw this first. All right. All right. So this is an eight by 10. So it's small, like I told you. All right. So what I want to do, I, I'm on a white canvas. All right. And I'll tell you why later. All right. So I am going, I like bigger, better, but I want it to be seen without me moving a whole bunch of times. All right. So let's get this. I don't know why I have to be crooked for y'all to see it straight. Okay. Uh, on fabric painting, I have some on fabric painting. You just need to check them out, honey. They're here on YouTube. All right. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to decide my gnome. All right. Here's some gnomes that I have done that are really fun. These are forest gnomes. These are on my onestroke.com site where you can download this whole long video sharing all this with you. But this is these gnomes. I like gnomes for different reasons. These are out in the night and they're collecting. This is a mushroom gnome and he's out collecting mushrooms. And then this gnome is a bird gnome and it's got a nest with eggs. He's got denim jeans on. And this one is a fairy gnome and it's a he or she with some pink roses on. And I put this beautiful dragonfly glaze on top, all right? So you see how the darkness is in the back? Well, so I wanted um, to show you just a fun way to make this into a Christmas one, all right? So I'm going to put a smaller gnome in here. So I'm going to have mostly beard. See, I don't know if I, you're supposed to do this really light, but I'm going to do it dark, okay? All right, I'm going to do it darker so you can see it. And I actually, actually, let's bring it down. I'm going to make it right down here and have it coming off the wreath. That sounds fun. See that? I'm bringing it down and have it coming off the wreath. And I use a white eraser. And I didn't grab my white eraser before I came over here. But with my drawing class, there's step-by-steps that you can do on onestroke.com on my website, which is posted right here on this, on my channel. 
Okay, so there is the beard and see where the wreath's gonna be. All right, are you with me? I know, <laughs> she said it's a he, not a she with those beards. All right, so see, I'm gonna do the nose and I'm gonna come right here and the eyes are gonna go right in here. Can you see that? All right, so then I'm gonna kind of copy this Christmas hat that I put in here. Okay, so see, I'm gonna do a hat and I can even do a pom-pom, all right? You can have something hanging from that. And this is gonna be furry right in here, this one. Okay. All right, so we got our gnome. This is just an oval, then you extend it, all right? So what I'm going to do, let's see. I'm not gonna worry about hands, but I could have his legs hanging over, like at this, over the wreath. And we'll put striped pants on him. And we can make little booties that come up to a point. Can you see him? So he's sitting on the wreath. All right. Now I'm going to have all kinds of twigs and stuff, so you might not see his hands. All right. And so it's just going to be a cute little gift that you can do or just hang it to remember painting with me. All right. So we're going to have this posted so you can go back and watch it when you have all your supplies. All right, so that's so easy. So then I'm going to come out here and do little twigs. All right, and then I'm. this is how I designed it. I just start painting with you, and then we'll decide what we want. We might even put some pine cones in this Christmas wreath. Okay, so we can then splatter with uh, fly specking all over, all kinds of fun looks. And then I can glaze this too if I want like I did with the dragonfly. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I made, uh, let me, I've got some white. I'm going to use some wicker white and a little bit of coffee latte. Now, these are the paints I use. Let me share with you. These are multi-surface, folk art multi-surface. All right, and they have this cap on it. And um, you, there's many, many colors. They have a sealer in them. And they're wonderful to use, okay? So I'm just going to pick up this flesh color and get this in here, right in here before I get started. All right? And, like, I like um, the beard itself to be gray first. But um, you know what? I didn't grab. Let's see. Do I have a gray right here? I do. I have a medium gray. All right? So... All right, I'm gonna pull some medium gray. I want dark under the beard. So I can see right in here where my pencil line was. All right, I've got a 12 flat, I'm just face coating. So I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you can see it. It's weird that it's gotta be um, cockeyed for it to look straight for you guys. But this is what happens, I do all my filming myself. <laughs> which is good and which is bad sometimes. Okay, so I want this dark under here. So when we put the white on top, it looks really good. All right, so we're gonna do a different kind of beard and we're gonna just base coat him in there. All right, and then let's see. I think we could do red stripe stockings. So, I'm going to make them red because we have a white background. So I'm going to come right here and his knees sitting over there and his legs hang down. He's got a little skinny legs, big beard, skinny legs. Okay. All right. Now I can see through the pencil, but if you do it really light, you wouldn't see. Oh, I washed that. I should have done the whole hat while I had it. So. And if I'm doing multiples, just to let you guys know. Yay. Hello, Leanne. All right. All right. So 
Um, I will line up four to six at a time and do all the red on all of them. I have all kinds of how-to lessons that are full-length lessons on my site, over 300 of them on onestroke.com. And then I'm building my library here. So we're getting more and more. It says I have a couple hundred, I think, on here. Or it's getting close. All right. So I'm going to just base coat a bright red. So the reason I want bright is because then I can shade it with some other shades of red or berry wine. So this is apple red. See how bright it is? It's an apple red. There we go. So it can be crazy that it's not straight. All right. So thank you, Angel and Anna. Oh, good morning, guys. All right. So he's a she. He's a she. It was got pink on it. You're right. She's still talking about my night gnomes that go out and do good at night. All right, so now I can, for the beard area, I can go ahead, and I should have done this when I did the gray. All right, so I come here, and then I like to go bubble up over the nose a little bit. Okay? So guess what? Painting will make you stop thinking about your woes sometimes. I'm not saying you'll forget them totally, but it makes a difference, okay? So, all right. So now I'm going to put a little bit of green. So the citrus green, I've got my double loader because I've been painting all morning already. All right. So the double loader helps you if you're trying to double load leaves and flowers. Right now we're just base coating. I know y'all usually watch me on this YouTube lives stroke flowers and things but right now i just thought let's do a fun wreath all right it's the season okay all right now let's go to our 12 flat and let's get some brown all right so i've got burnt umber and i'm going to put it next to the coffee latte all right so it's going to kind of look a little earthy we can use a little bit of this white and i'm going to go in between and I'm going to work it in, in between, work it in. So I'll, I want not much white. I want more of that burn number. All right. So I'm going to put twigs. we got somebody else from India. Thank you. All right. In Greece. All right. You can order from us. We sell to, we ship to Greece, but unless the, unless Greece isn't accepting our shipments. We have one island that doesn't accept right now, but they're waiting. I think we finally got something through, but we ship to all of the countries. It just takes a while to get there, but we do. We do uh, United Postal Service, all right? So on both sides, he's been out collecting twigs, all right? So, and maybe I'll put a pine cone or two in here. All right, so let me share with you what I'm doing. I don't want to draw them all in, but I can erase it when it's done. But this is what I'm doing. I am taking the chisel edge of this brush. I've got it multi-loaded with mostly coffee latte and burnt umber. And I'm going to show you that I keep coming right here to get more paint. All right, and a little bit of white still in there, but that's okay. All right, now... Now, I made all these twigs come this way, but you can have these go up and these go up and meet so I can change that look I was doing. All right. All right. So, look, we're going to come along here really loose. I think this is going to be cute, but I don't know yet because I'm creating it with you. My whole drawing pen class to help you design. Um, I teach you how we start creating and deciding and then people then do the painting on their own and figure out for the first time sometimes what 
paint colors to use and all from always following myself or one of my, uh, my elite teachers. We have lots of teachers that certify people all over the, all over the world. We've certified over 20,000 instructors over the years in all kinds of countries. See how I'm just bringing it around? So what I want are these are nice twigs. So you can do the first one like this. And then you're going to wander from here over to the other side. Look, and wander from here to the other side. It's showing you backwards, so I don't know how to fix that. But when I look up, I'm confused a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to keep coming here. Yes, Miss Charlie McGee's on here. And Charlie, I don't know if any others are. But Charlie is one of my certifying elites. Charlie McGee, she's posting right here. And she can help you get certified. And we need more teachers. All right. And they do them online also because that's the new wave of tomorrow, by the way, is all these online lessons. Okay. Now, see, I want you to see we got light brown. Little bit so the coffee latte and the burn number and you can see my pencil laying underneath that's okay I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet but I'm going to keep working on it now since this is going to be underneath um, I also will put a little bit gray there to maybe help the shadow all right all right I'm going to wash that brush and I'm not into really small, small things, but you believe that since I drew something small today. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come in here and pick up a little bit of berry wine, which is another color of multi-surface. And I'm just going on the side of this six flat. And I'm going to shade down one side. I don't think you can see that. So let's go really close. Thank you. Dave says it already looks cute. That's a good thing. All right. Now, I just picked up not a good brush because it's got wild hairs on it. The smaller brushes um, are quicker to... Um, frizz out. And I think it's because it doesn't have a lot of, of um, help to keep it stable. All right. I need floating medium. So I'm going to pick up some floating medium. And floating medium is the fluff that's inside paint and it has no pigment in it. So you can make it shade. See how I'm making it shade? All right. Thank you guys. I'm glad you're saying you like it. Thank you. Thumbs up to you guys too. So see, I can float it down on both sides. And it, see, I want you to see that it gives you shading over the other leg. And we're going to make pinstripes. I started shading on this side, and I'm going to shade on this side. And it's okay that you go into the beard up there, because we're going to take the white... Uh, beard and take it over these legs so it's okay but we do want to stripe them and everything before we put um, anything else on it then I'm going to take the medium before we put the beard is what I was trying to say and I want to side load the sap green all right and so look at these little slippers here I'm going to come up and shade it just really quick and easy Thank you for coming on live. I'm excited to teach you something today and just have a fun little event with you guys. So let's come down here. All right. These paints are Oak Art Multi-Surface, all right? And they have a sealer in it. They can go outdoor, indoor, on glass, ceramic. I'm a little too close for it to focus. Glass, ceramic, and uh, wood, canvas, indoor, outdoor. 
And we have all these colors on our website, onestroke.com. And we ship all over the country, all over the world. All right. So I'm just doing these. I can put little jingle bells if I want, a little crisscross, little um, souls, booties, jingle bells, pom poms. <laughs> all right. So what I didn't do while I had the berry wine, and I should have, is I'm putting floating medium on a bigger brush on a 12. And I'm going to side, look, I side load and not wimpy. So if you're out there and it's wimpy like that, see how light that is? That's not going to work. I'm no wimpy. Let's go here. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy with what we're doing today so I know what to do next. All right. All right. Now let's come along here. I'm going to come right on this side. And I want you to see how you don't see my pencil mark anymore after I make the little shading. Let me turn it like that so y'all can see it better. So I'm just picking it up on one side of the brush with the floating medium across the whole brush. And then I just keep picking up on the side. These are plaid folk art paints. And I use multi-surface and we have specials where you can get multiple colors, my most used colors, and see how that shading happens. I used to watch your videos when you were in the fifth grade. Wow. <laughs> and college is still enjoying videos. Thank you, honey. All right. So we're drawing and painting today. We drew our little, oops our little gnome, he's a Christmas gnome. So I'm putting fun little hat on him. And see how I put the little wrinkles? So those are the little folds. Now sometimes I put stripes or whatever first and then you put this, the shading because then it'll go along with the the folds of the fabric, all right? When I do candies, candy canes and stripes and stuff, all right? So see what we're doing there? Oh, thank you, honey. So make sure that you come back and watch it later. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you are here with me. Thank you, thank you, guys. All right. So we're going to let that dry for a minute and let's go in here and see. Um, I can use a blow dryer or, or not. I can take and shade some of the backgrounds, but let's do um, a couple of holly leaves. All right. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do with the double loader. I'm going to pick up two colors. So I'm splitting the brush picking up two colors, coming over here and working them in. All right. So I think I really need a smaller, let me go and get a smaller brush. Let's use an eight. All right. So I have the lavender brushes are my signature brushes. I buy with 13 most used brushes and the green brushes are great for beginners. They are my student brushes and they're wonderful. You can get a whole value pack for like $16 US dollars. All right. Thank you for all the countries that are joining in with us today. This makes me happy that you're liking it. And look, thank you for the thumbs up. I got 45 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That makes me, that keeps me going. And I like to come do this. I like to share with you guys. But if it's something that you're not really happy with, then I'll know for next time. Uh, oh, thank you. God bless you guys so much during this, all that we're living through right now. And some of you have lost loved ones or are suffering. Everybody I know that um, is getting the COVID right now, and my family included out West, um, they said it wasn't as bad as the flu, but they don't, they're younger and and all, but I think it's not as strong here in the U.S. as it was, but some areas are really spiking, so we're being cautious. All right, there we go. So let's come in here. Um, 
from Missouri. Hello. All right. So let's go up, 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 and to the point. Now, what you might want to do to feel better is sketch in holly. All right. Now, poinsettias don't always have points, but they do many times too. So let me show you that I'm going to, here's my holly. If I drew it in, I'm going to have a center. And then I do peak, 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 peak. Now, I don't draw it. I like to put what's underneath, underneath. And then I don't draw the pattern. I do just like we did. I'm coming in here. And I am going right over my branches. And if the branches show through and I'm not happy, let me show you what happens. I just go and add branches back over it. All right. So, because sometimes I do this really thin. All right. So what you can do is you can screenshot this picture when it's all done. And then you can enlarge the fit. Okay. Now, I think that the holly itself is absolutely going to tell you this is a Christmas gnome, right? Okay. Thank you for spending the morning with me. It's the morning here. I don't know what time it is where you're at. But... Oh, thank you, Leanne. Okay, so let's, we just did a Christmas event that was so fun with so many different teachers who came on and talked with me. That was so much fun. We did two full days. <laughs> we were, no, we did one and a half days, actually, and it kicked our butts. We painted till we dropped. And we did four major projects and had four beautiful demonstrations on fun stuff. So what I'm doing, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you for having my signature brushes. They are just better quality brushes and they have better, better uh, handles and bristles and stuff. So I have we have good, which are inexpensive. They're, they don't have my name on them. They're just um, a little bit better than a craft brush, but you could start that way. And we have good, better, best. And my best is my signature brushes. So I'm really happy to share those with you. So the dark green handles are the good ones I've had for years, but the best ones are, and I get paint all over them, I'm sorry, are, are my um, signature brushes. All right, so check them out. And we have them in stock on our site. So go check out our site and enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to, I keep picking up. So let me show you. I pick up these two colors. I'm not quite half and half, but you can be. Let me get more citrus. Because sometimes, that's if, if we even put more citrus. Okay, I've been doing Dollar Tree projects too because Dollar Tree projects are very inexpensive when you're trying to get started. And um, some of you have liked those. Uh, Pakistan, hello, hello. It's so nice to have you guys join me. And I know um, you purchased from me, that's right. And Merry Christmas to each one of you guys also. I'm using my daughter's account. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, so see, the next thing I want you to, to do is if I pick up medium and put it over here, look, let's make it thin like watercolor. Let's try a new little trick. I even have a new technique I've been, I'm going to teach on the 30th. Um, and you can sign up and it's $35 for that class. It's about a three hour class. You can find that also. All right, so look, I'm going to do a watercolor effect where I'm barely touching, really lightly touching. And I'm just getting the illusion. You can see that these are heavy. And I'm just going to use this floating medium. And look, just, I need more medium because I want you to see that I'm just going for effect. Look, 
just by squiggling it, it looks like green, right? And I can put some in here. Watch this. All right. And you see, it's not anything exact. And I'll show you a little trick with this. I just did gifts to hand out to my, my studio here in Florida, to my students for, thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you liked the workshop, it was fun. And I had such wonderful ladies joining me. <coughs> okay, so if you come to Florida on vacation, my studio is right here in the Orlando area and lots of people come and visit us from other countries. All right, so I'm taking a two script liner in. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm making it a little inky. Okay, I love that you're giving me thumbs up. Thank you. Since the beginning, all right. All right, so look. Now, let's go over here. Now, let me show you that you take just that watercolor effect and you don't try to be within anything, you just go like that. And I'm gonna keep picking up that, that watercolor effect. But you don't do this to every one, okay? You see that? I'm just putting a little bit of outline. And I'm kind of making this up as I go, so. Oh, I have an idea. Let's make can and make him a candy cane. <laughs> I know, Charlie. I was totally worn out. I said it kicked my butt. Let me tell you our Christmas event. It kicked my butt. So I don't even want to think about the next one till I rest some. Because we were we painted, I forgot to give people breaks to go eat. And <laughs> so we painted nonstop. But now they have the recordings to go. Now, so do you like that a little bit? That just a little, a little bit that's green in here and you know what it is. And a little bit that's more, more, um, what do you call it? Exact. All right. Now, I have decided, let's do, I know they're usually white, but let's do a little peppermint candy here. Of course, I got the wrong brush. All right, let me clean this. And they're going to be red, and then we're going to put white on them. Okay, I'll do a couple red ones. I'm going to do berries, too. I don't know. I'm not thinking this out totally, but let me make it a bigger one up here. All right, so I'm going to kind of put some other ones in here with it. What about white? All right, so I'm gonna put one right here. And see, I just stroke right over all that painting and put a couple of these here. And see how I put that on top of everything? And you'll see when we get going here what it's gonna look like. And another one here. I'm not worried about that being exact right now. We're just trying. I've got my triangle of red, my triangle of white. All right. And there's two triangles of white. All right. That matters. And I'll show you why. I'm glad you're learning something new because right now I'm just creating and hoping that when I'm all done, it's what I want. Right. Okay, isn't that what we do when we're creating? All right, so I'm going to come in here and side load a teeny bit of coffee latte with the six. And I'm going to go ahead and get the nose. Let's come in here. I'm going to take and put the nose in here. And I might have to clean it up after we do the beard and all. And then I shade a little bit here for where the eyes are going to go. All right. Now, I like it when we put a little eye in there. And sometimes when it's a bigger gnome, I have the eye kind of winking at you. And you can see it's got um, pupil and everything. All right. Now, on this, I'm going to take and do 
a little bit of white and put a little glaze on top of his nose, okay? We can also come along here and put a little bit, little bit of highlight on top of our hat too, all right? Now I'm gonna keep adding a little bit of red to go over those branches. You can put a white on all of them and then put red. You can do that too. All right. Now I am, let's take one of my finishing touches I know I'm gonna use is an inky script liner. Okay. He's going to be a candy cane or a peppermint a snowman. I mean, gnome Santa. Okay, look, I'm going to go up and over. Now, we want it to be long and loopy. Some people try to do an eight when they're doing this, but don't do that here. Go into here and come across. And see, I don't care if things show through. So it, when you're all done, you're going to get a fun fill, okay? And this is inky. So every time I come over here, I'm rolling it. So I get a nice point. All right. And then I can stroke this to a little bit of white and do a knot. And I can also come along here. See how I'm coming right on top of the red with a little bit of white? Let's come up. I just stroked through thick white. And I'm going to come across here a little bit. See how I'm just doing? See how that pops up now? I think I need to put some red in here because, yeah, there we go. All right. Now, I'm going to do the peppermint and the stripe legs and decide if I want stripes in his hat because I don't know if that's going to be too much. Because what I am going to do is with the handle of this brush, I'm going to come in here and do little dot berries along some of these stems. Or just do clusters of berries because they're holly. Little clusters. I think that might be nicer. All right, see how the berries come in there. So since I don't like this on the on this, um, I had it on a, a stem. I'll just go ahead and put multiple berries up there, and I'll do some multiple berries up here. And I'm gonna fly spec this too, guys. When we're done to get that finished look. All right. I'm doing these berries now because when I fly spec, I don't want the water to totally uh, make them run. So dip, dot, dip, dot. All right. And you can do multiple dots and they get smaller as you go. So let's look right here. Let's go closer so you see what I'm showing you. I started painting. This is my 25th anniversary of plaid. Enterprises, the paint company finding me 25 years ago. And I really painted like nine years or so before that. And I would do art shows. And for five years, I painted tinware from India. And we shipped it, hand painted all over the country, all over the world, actually. And I taught myself how to paint. I have seven children, so I did it at my dining room table. And then we got a mini warehouse and all my friends <laughs> would come and paint with me and help me supply all the orders. Okay. So, what's he looking? He's looking pretty Christmassy, huh? So I keep thinking, what colors do I want to speckle it with? I might speckle it with just some gold and stuff too. All right. So the finishing touches are going to make it. So let's pick up some white. And... I just took this white out of my double loader because I can hold the plate up easier for y'all to see. And I want my smallest two script liner. 
All right, so I'm going to come right here and make it kind of inky. Inky means I add a teeny bit of water, okay? Yeah, we have a convention in January celebrating here in Orlando, the 25th year. Okay. Yes. So this is what we want to do is right down here. I was like, what am I doing? Have you ever thought that? What am I doing? It was because I'm creating it with you. All right. So look, I'm going to come along here and I'm going to do a stripe. The legs hanging off the wreath. Oh, isn't he cute? I did a whole gnome train. And if you go to my holiday site, we have 20% um, off today. And it's Dewberry Holiday Store forward slash square dot site. Okay. So go check it out today only. Today is... The 14th, today you can get that special on the holiday site. And it's got a train. It's got all kinds of gnomes and packets that you can learn step-by-step step how, to, how to paint. And we ship all over the world. Okay. So you see I'm putting an extra layer of white. But I need this to dry so I can make it into pepper mats. So that's why I keep doing this as I'm going and I don't wait. But you can always get a blow dryer and work on it. Okay. All right. Are you happy yet? See, I think his striped legs made it, but I'm still not going to do the hat until I do the candies and see if it's going to be too much. Okay. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do the beard, but because I don't want to, I got rake brushes. I mean, I'm just going to show you what a rake brush does. All right. It's the flower handle inside. Uh, my signature brushes, but I also have it in the dark green brushes, the Donna Dewberry razor brushes. All right, so look, this makes, let me go close, this makes it look like fur or hair. Can you see that? But I want to try another little technique that's kind of fun. And I will take first and do See, I, I'm worried about doing this little curl here because it's kind of got to be gray for it to show on white. Some of those things I think of afterwards and go, oh, that wasn't very smart. All right, so see, and sometimes I tie a little red bow on the end. Okay, so look, I'm going to bring this up. And it's just curling here, right? See how I added the gray so it shows? All right, so let's get this number six flat, and we're going to keep picking it up. So when you see me go off, I'm going to go get more paint. So I'm going to chisel first and kind of do these flat beard. So let me show you right now is when it's going to start going this way. So flat, flat, and I want some gray to show through. All right, can you see that? Oh, here it is. Let me show you. There's his beard. See, that's what we're doing. See how you can see the gray? And this one is all with um, the rake brush, and but smooth rake brush. And then this one's rake brush. And then I went back with the liner and added more. Okay. So is that fun? Crafting with Aline. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I am in all kinds of places now. And guys, you have to go. I have 12 months of flowers of the month and 12 months of wreaths of the month on my Donna Dewberry with Plaid YouTube. And Plaid, P-L-A-I-D. It is the paint company that I work with. And they have me filming every month videos for you. And so you can go watch them all. They're all free. I do have drawing lessons and painting lessons on my site as I help you. You can even be certified with me that way. And there's all kinds of 
fun skills that you can learn on my site too. But let's paint, let's paint with plaid and look for Donna Dewberry, okay? And I teach you so much. They're full-length lessons. And I invite you to come check them out. I have a Christmas wreath right now that I love doing. And it's bright green poinsettia, like a citrus green. Now, see, now I've got to decide. See, that's just a different kind of beard. Thank you, David, for being on. All right, and watch it tomorrow. That sounds good. All right. All right. I don't know if you are David, but you work at David's, right? <laughs> all right. So look, we are going to do all these little strokes up here. Now, when I get up to here, I've got to decide at this point, I'm going to come in here and put it kind of gray coming back out. Are you with me? Now, I do want to put a gray in the middle that separates the mustache. All right. Are you having fun yet? I'm, I'm taking almost an hour of your time. All right. The thing about this beard is it's the easiest beard I do. I mean, yes. And then I'm going to show you this fun mustache. I was thinking, am I saying the right thing? It is a beard. Okay, so let's pick up white again. And I'm going to come down right here, down. Okay, now what I will do sometimes, if this doesn't show, I'll show you a little trick, but I want to put a little bit of white in here. Okay. I'm going to bring some more gray here and here and along. All right, so watch this. I can come along here. Do you like the way I'm talking to you? Hey, watch me. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of crazy. All right, so see how I get the mustache? But then I got to go back and put some white in there, okay? Oh, come back and watch it. It's going to be here for you, honey. It's going to be right here on the Donna DeVry channel, and you can watch it later today. And you can learn how to draw him and paint him. Okay, so we put that back. All right, so isn't he cute? All right. See, isn't that a fun, simple little beard? Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my little script liner. And, or you could take a sharpened pencil. You can do whatever. All right. I'm sorry. I didn't get out the black. So this is licorice and multi-surface paint, guys. Over at multi-surface. That's the company I work with. And we have wonderful tools for you. And on onestro.com, we ship them all straight to you. And we have sales and specials. All every weekday till Christmas. All right. Now, see, I just dotted his eyes. We're going to come back a little bit later and put um, a little white glare, which makes it really good. All right. So let's see about our peppermints. All right. So I'm going to pick up the six flat and you might use a two flat. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty big. All right. Let me... Let me get a two flat, guys. Now, can you see what we've done so far? Oh, thank you for the thumbs up, guys. I'd like to know that if you're happy, if you're happy, let me know it, right? <laughs> thumbs up means you want more. All right, because I miss you. I was on quite a bit, and then I've been busy with my life trying to get everything done before the holidays with painting. All right, so now watch this. I'm going to touch, push down with my two, and I'm going to stand up. All right, so I'm going to go the same way. I'm curving to the right. Then I'm going to come here and curve to the right. 
and they're usually not red, but I was afraid it was not going to show. And I'm going to curve to the right. And I'm unhappy that that had picked up. It wasn't dry. I shouldn't have taken a blow dryer. And come to the right. It doesn't bother me. It's okay. But if you want it to totally dry, then it works better for you. Let's see if this red, this red has an edge too. All right. So one, it's better if you let it dry. Two. All right, we have four, four of these. All right, and let's see this peppermint over here. One, two, fresh paint each time. Where am I? There we are. Where am I? Here. Three. All right, now what I want to do for these white peppermints, I am going to do citrus, citrus green. All right, so I'm push and I stand up, push and I stand up. All right, push, stand up, and I'm going to start a new one for you so you see it. Let's go right here. Push and lift, push and lift, and you spiral around. On my choo-choo trains, these are all the wheels I have big peppermint. I've got a gnome choo-choo train. You can go check him out. See? Okay. And these are shiny because there's a sealer in them in the paint. And so you can do it outdoors, indoors, glass, ceramic, metal. And it is ready for you. You don't seal it or spray it. It's all done. It's my favorite go-to paint. Multi-surface. All right, but it's folk art multi-surface. Oh, he's fun, isn't he? I don't know. I think... I think his hat's okay. I could put a little bit... Uh, look what I could put on there instead of... I can get a, my script liner with thick paint and streak it through some sap. And I can put a twig up here of pine needles. And instead of a bell, I can do that. And I can also do it, let's, let's see right here. I can put holly up here, but I think this evergreen, when it's so teeny like this, is perfect. Okay, just a little twig. Now, this is how you create as you go, all right? So I'm teaching you how to draw and design your own little project and the steps I do when I'm creating it, okay? Thumbs up. That's nice. Thank you. Is he cute? <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, like I said, go check out my YouTube. But on Instagram, I put a lot of, of my stuff on Instagram when it's fresh and new. But you can see some of my TikTok how-tos there. So I dotted the eyes. See that little dot? So I'd like to put another little one someplace else on here. Little, little, and then you can put a little dot. I, I did a glare, but let's do a little dot on his nose too. All right, or maybe down here, just a little glare. Now, this is what I do on his little booties. All right, I put um, little dots because I put laces there sometimes. One two, three, and I pull little laces down. And what I was saying that we ought to do on here is put a little pom-pom on the end. What if we just dot a berry? Little pom-pom, red pom-pom for the tip of his 
boots, booties, his little elf shoes. All right. Okay, so let me show you with my scruffy. I have a baby scruffy that comes in the set. It's a quarter inch scruffy. Where are you? I'm sorry. Oh, here he is. Quarter inch scruffy. All right, now look what you have to do. You have to fluff the scruffy. <laughs> Thank you. I love you watching me. Go back from the beginning, watch it, and get your paint colors. So look, I've got apple red, berry wine, or just a darker brown. I have gray, which you can make with licorice and white. And so citrus, a light bright green, and a dark green. And look, that's not many colors. All right. So I'm going to take and pound. Oh, no, 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 no. I pounced into aqua by accident and I don't want this. You, you can't use this brush wet. So I've got to rub it out. Oh, I'm going to have to wet it. Got it in there too much. Okay. Then I dry it really good at the ferrule right there. And then I can fluff it. So fluff it again in a paper towel because it's got to be dry. All right. So that is bad. So I'm going to pick up white with a teeny bit of gray. So it looks white, right? What about a lot of gray? I just messed up again. Hear that? That's what you want to hear. Okay. So let's come here. Now I can bring in some more gray here. So I can let that dry a little bit and come back and pounce white on top of it. See, it's a little gray looking. All right, but what I do along here is I do do gray, do do. I do gray on the outside edge at the top. And I pick up a little bit more gray and do gray down here where it hits the beard. Careful across the eyes. All right. No, this is what you do, guys. I did get a teeny bit on his nose. So I just take and I pick up a wet, flat brush with water. And I just wipe it off. All right. Oh, see, I messed up the eye. That's okay. I'll show you what I do. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to take my little liner and pick up a little bit more licorice. It's okay, I cleaned it up, but I still think that I can touch this back up in here. I just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, made his eyes a little bit bigger, and then I just come right back in. It's better when it dries, but because of time, I'll go ahead and put a little white dot at the top and I'm going to wipe this off okay there we go see doesn't he look fun Okay, so I guess I need to go get some more white. And so I wiped off some of the gray. And just move it around. Move, 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 move it around so you get that fuzzy look. See the fuzzy look? And I put some sparkles in this sometimes. All right. Isn't he fun? 
Now, to make the peppermints look like pe peppermints, I'm sorry, I got lawn guys outside this morning. All right, so I'm going to take and make it inky, inky white. I really want you to roll this out. Roll. Now, I've got to come up here so you can see. Where am I at? Up here. Right there. Let's go to this one. I want you to see that I'm going to come around and I'm going to do a little glare. A little glare so it looks like candy. All right. You start in a white and you come around. So I'm going to take the white along here also. And the white along here. Okay, so now I want to show you couple last minute things. I want to show you that what I like to do with my liner when I do the green peppermint is I like to put a little liner of red in here to make him look like, where's he at? Oh, there. See? Right there. And I'll do that to this one. Now, I, when I totally dry this, I'll show the picture, but when I totally dry this, guys, I put the line, I'm sorry, you put this in first and then the little line. Okay. What I like to do is put wrappers on these, but we're just not going to do that because I would have to let it dry first. All right. Now. One last thing. Are you ready to see what's next? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a toothbrush. And I use a fan brush usually, but the toothbrush works really good when you have it small and you're trying to control it. All right. So I think about the color I can splatter in there. I have some metallics. This is Color Chef. I was thinking the soft green in the background. I was going to do the browns to make it more country. But I think that I will just show you with this color shift because it's metallic. And then I can do some treasure gold. And then we got treasure gold and greens. So this is wonderful. We have all kinds of colors of treasure gold and eight, oh, four ounces also. And it, treasure gold used to have a really chemical smell. Now it's not solvent based anymore. It's there we go. It's water based. All right. So it's nice and thick. All right. So I could just go around and put more gold berries. And when you see it, when you walk around and you see the sky in the light, it'll shine. But another thing, you can't put white twigs because. We're on a white canvas. This is just a canvas, not even base coated. But let me show you. I can touch here and make, I gotta roll this right here and make little branches. That is not a good brush. Let me show you what you do if you do something you don't like. <laughs> I did that on purpose, can you tell? <laughs> okay. Look, let me take it off. Just cleaning water on the brush and take it off. All right, don't get, don't get a paper towel and try to wipe it off. All right, so now let me go back. You can't inky this too much, but I just needed a really thin tip. Okay, so look, I can come in here and make little branches of gold. And I usually do these white when you have another color in the background. Okay, and we could stop at any time. <laughs> Have you figured that? Donna, that's enough. All right, I just keep going. I'm sorry. Making you all crazy, but I just wanted to show just a few more things. All right. Now, I need help. Guess what? I have 97 likes. Can I get 100? I know you're busy watching, but give me a hundred likes, please. All right. That's my new goal 
There's 98. There's 100. Okay, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. All right, so you see that? Just little twigs or not. All right. Oh, I started saying it went back to 98. <laughs> I didn't know it could reverse. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to put little berries here. One, two, three. And little berries on both sides of this. All right. And now let's let's use our toothbrush. Okay. Now, once I said, just keep your old toothbrushes, and then I went, maybe not. Go to Dollar Tree and buy Dollar toothbrushes. All right. So I can put water, water, and get it really into my paint, uh, into my toothbrush. All right. So now look, you can test it if you like it, if you want more. See? All right, so I'm gonna come all out here. Now I put it as snow when I have a colored background. So, and I'm fine if it goes on the hat. This is metallic. Remember, this is color ship. And it's a wonderful paint. It's from like the automotive industry. And those cars that you see, they're called, this is flash green because they flash when they go by and you go, oh, that was purple. No, that's gold. Okay, so look at him. All right, so now what he needs is we need the peppermints to dry. And I want you to see that still looks good right there. But if I put a little bit of gray and a little wrapper, I'll have to show y'all wrappers sometimes. Okay. And you sign it. Now, until next time, you guys go check out my John and Dewberry with Plaid, all those lessons, and check out my group, my Facebook group. You come to my Facebook group, and that's when we do discounts during, we have little sales that we come on, and we make it a great deal for just that day on product. And then I show you what I'm doing next in all kinds of painting. There we go. And we're done. Thank you so much, guys. I love that y'all stayed on and painted with me. And oh, thank you. I got a bunch of friends out there, I know. Thank you so much. And newbies. Yes, I, I went up to 103 and down to 102. So maybe you can take off your likes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but thank you. All right, and this one, this whole known family is my number one seller on my group. No, number three. It's the number three most watched video on my, not on my group, on my um, onestroke.com site. All right, have a wonderful holiday and feel joy and happiness and paint share me share with me on my facebook group what you paint i would love 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 to see it uh yes it's a live class just for you guys see you next time i'm going to be on again so be watching so listen you got to subscribe and you've got to ring the bell and it'll tell you when i'm on all right thank you isn't he cute all right love you guys bye